Do ants believe in God? No, because they're insects. Welcome to what? Yeah, welcome to Shave and Butcher. Today is a tag video. <clears throat> Been tagged by Frank Strombay at wet shaving, wet shaving and stuff to do a one handed shave. Like most uh, with a straight razor. Uh, like most um, straight razor shavers, I shave with two hands. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> morning. Uh, a lot of shavers use their right hand on the right side of their face. I do the opposite. Uh, I'm not the only one, but it's, it's more unusual. And I just find that more natural. So I do, I go cross and then I swap and go cross. So one hand to choose and I've chosen my right hand. They're both pretty bad, <laughs> but this is my dominant hand. So I'm gonna try that. The soap for the job is Moon Soaps Sorrento, lovely little thing, brushes Matti Lindholms, uh, home brewed with a, a 24 millimeter Maggard synthetic knot. The razor is the Halfman Special from Solingen and this is this is one of the prettiest razors I have. Look at the spine, Ugh, can you see that? It's not focusing very well. It says soling in on both sides. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Silberstahl from soling in. Okay, here we go. Rock and roll, as Frank says. So I've done, I've done a one-handed shave once before. That was a, a tag video a few years ago. But then I. Then I did it with my left hand. I've never shaved my whole face with my right hand ever. So that will be interesting. That will be interesting. This is Moon Soaps. Pretty famous soap brand, rather new, I think. It became a lot of YouTubers' favorite soap sort of last year. It's a tallow soap. And it has some really, really nice scent notes in it. Very fresh, very reviving, you know. It's uh, a lot of citrus comes out straight away. Pompelo, 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 whatever they're called. I just know orange and lemon. Got a piece of hair here somewhere. Where is it? Um, piece of hair. Straw of hair. Piece of hair. Peace of mind. And the straw that broke the camel's back. Those two are entwined forever in history. Amen. Yeah, so, bergamot, you know, that sort of thing. But as you, as you work it and, and shave with it, and especially afterwards, you get it gets a little bit more serious with, with uh, you know, a spicy thing and not musk, but sort of amber-ish things. So you go da 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 in the beginning, and then you and you walk into the forest and you see, you hear, you think you see things, and you hear something you don't quite know what it is, and <clears throat> it's a little bit more stern and serious but then the top notes come back and you know you know you're safe Sorrento I think is a place on the Amalfi coast the, the southwest coast of Italy I, I think so anyway so it's probably supposed to smell like down there like a, a citrus yard is it yard citrus? God, so many words in English I don't know. I sometimes feel incomprehensible and inconceivable. Those were two complicated <laughs> words I knew. I'm gonna tag as well. And um, I'm tagging Marian the Barbarian and Gordon Christie to do a one-handed straight racer shape.
so and I you know you've got you've got people like Matti Lindholm who was tagged by Frank as well where he shaves with just one hand his, his right hand which is his dominant hand so his challenge is to shave with both hands so that's the way you can do it or you swap to the hand you don't like hand you're not used to it's, soap is getting there nicely it's a lovely lovely soap base absolutely great I think yeah that will do it nice and wet so stop the tap and here we go rock and roll what did I say yeah right haha <laughs> It's going to be hard to remember not to swap, especially if I'm doing some talking. So this is easier for me because this, uh, I know it looks awkward it's because my technique isn't very good, but this is my usual hand for this side. I think we like the soap. The leather. So I shave rather slowly. Anyway, uh, so it probably looks like I'm, I'm doing a challenge every time I shave. Okay, so this is this is new. I've never done this. So you've got to keep track of where the, the blade is and you need to keep track of where what the angle is so it's not quite intuitive you have to feel think and look should i hold it the no Can see it looks a bit awkward it's it's you know muscles you don't usually use okay so upper half went reasonably well I think soap everywhere <clears throat> bottom so again this is familiar what I usually do. So may not be elegant, <clears throat> but that's pure muscle memory. I go by. I can I can do that with my eyes shut, and it's not going to make a huge difference. But this and just the grip, you know, since I, I'm not used to. Be quiet now. hollow down there right yeah that was tricky it's, it's hollow so I need a special angle and I need to stretch ah, that will do Oof. it's not that scary because I'm 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 uh, seasoned enough to know that even if I cut myself it's not the end of the world I think the worst the worst cuts I've had um, have healed in what well, a week if it's been really bad and that's mainly been on the head actually and mainly with multi-blade razors Such a, such a great lather. It's 
playful leather. It's not serious or or anything. It's just you know light and nice. Okay, second pass, essentially against the grain. Oh, we're doing well on this side as expected. these two video meetings today with people I've never met before so it's it's an interesting day to experiment with a knife in your face <laughs> hello good good morning sir did you get attacked by bear no that's <laughs> my way of shaving idiot Hands are a bit wobbly today, can you tell? Some days are just like that. And it's morning too, and usually morning is a bit more. Body hasn't quite woken up. Okay, I was close to swapping hands, but I won't. This will, this will be tricky. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's an ear there. Oh, that is difficult. It's harder to get it good. Oh, the angle is not intuitive at all. That's decent. It's okay. It's, it's better on that side. Okay, here I need to stretch. I really do. So this will be fun. Jeez. Huh. you get used to. I mean I could very well be shaving with just one hand every every time left or right because as I said I shave in the in a way that's more uncommon. Most people I think use the right hand on the right side of their face or the left hand on the left side of the face. So, so that's what I'm doing now, with my right hand. And it, it feels strange just because I'm not used to it. I could learn to make it work for sure. Uh, yeah, right hand. So again, this side is going to be okay. And you know, this is a bit of fun. That's what Frank intended. But I find it quite interesting because it is, it is a way to challenge yourself a bit, to try something new. And who knows if I would do this 30, 40 times, I might find ah, it's actually better. You know, could have done. Okay, uh, no, wrong way. There we go. It's difficult. This hollow, hollow, hollow area. Hello. It's, 
it's just hard to reach. What do I usually do? I'm trying to think. Because this is it goes inwards, right? So I, I really need an angle that I'm not gonna be able, I think. Uh, okay, I think I got most of it. Oh, and there you go. We'll rinse and see how bad that was. Put the razor aside. Now this is a carbon steel razor, silver style. So it's important to not let it lie wet for any length of time. You know, not so bad. Would have done better with my usual. I mean, this side is, is fine. I haven't missed any spots, but some areas are not perfect. But for a video meeting, it's plenty good. Okay, so rinsed off in warmish water and then in cold water because it feels nice, sort of takes away a little bit of irritation, I, I find anyway. Put a toner on, this is, uh, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Facial Toner, and this is unscented. And it's supposed to be good for you. Yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever it is I do, creams, soaps, aftershave, toners, whatever. Since I started with traditional wet shaving, I mean, for real, five, six years ago, my skin's so much better, it really is. And um, nothing wrong with that. Okay, so the balm is going to be Oaken Lab. I really like this, I really like this. So anise, peppermint and orange. It's a, it's a rather light balm, uh, not as light as Wickham's, because Wickham's doesn't really give me much moisturization. This one it does, but it's on the light side. So it's, it's, it's like a milk. Um, and I just, you know, I'm not a fan well, peppermint usually, but this one is nice. It just refreshes everything and it's, it doesn't smell like the soap, but it's a, it's a nice combo anyway. It's wet now because I have <clears throat> toner in it and so forth, but it dries down pretty quickly and it's going to be good. And yeah, I mean, you can, you can see it's been a bit of a bear fight, but it's altogether pretty cool, pretty good. Thank you, Frank, for for tagging me for the challenge. I like the challenge. Uh, Marianne Borden, if you want to, go for it. And uh, the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Meanwhile, stay sharp.